In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the elephant cutie. So you should already have your body made and assembled. So if you haven't yet, in the link, in the description, there'll be a link for the body tutorial. So go ahead and set that aside and we'll go ahead and get started. So the things that you will need, you'll need Red Heart, Super Saver Yarn, or Equivalent, whichever color you're using to make your elephant. I might made my elephant all the same color, and the color that I used was Turqua. You'll need a very small amount of black yarn. This is just Red Heart Super Saver Yarn too. Um, the only thing we're using that for is to put little hair at the end of the tail. You will need a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. You will need a marker. You will also need some pins to hold the arms in place or hold the uh, trunk in place and the ears as you attach. You'll also need some plastic eyes. Um, unfortunately, mine are not labeled by size, so I'll just show you. That's about the size of the eyes that I'm using. You can use whatever size you'd like. Um, I glue them in place with this fabric fusion glue. If you're making this for smaller children and don't feel comfortable gluing in eyes, you can also use some crochet th thread or thinner crochet yarn and stitch the eyes in. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh one more thing. You will need some washable stuffing for the trunk. Now let's go ahead and get started. You'll also need a yarn needle for attaching. But we're going to go ahead and make the trunk. So make yourself a magic circle with six stitches. One. two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to do one row even, but we're only going to be working in the back loops. So if you see each stitch has two loops to it. You're just going to work in the back one. So one single crochet in each of the back loops. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Row three is going to be one row even and this is just back to normal. So just under both loops. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's the end of row three. Row four is going to be one single crochet in the first three stitches. So we'll do that first. One, two, three, and now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and now you have two stitches left, so you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these stitches. 
So one and two. And that is the end of row four and you now have seven stitches around. Row five, we're gonna put one single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. And now we're gonna put two single crochet in the next stitch. One, two. And now you have three stitches left. So just one single crochet in each of these three stitches. And that's the end of row five and you now have eight stitches around. So row six is one row even, just one single crochet in each of the eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of row six. Row seven is the same, just one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's the end of row seven. I'm going to go ahead and cut this starting yarn tail. So just make sure that your center hole is sealed and you can cut that shorter. For row eight, we're gonna do one half double crochet in the first four stitches. So one half double crochet in the first, one half double crochet in the second, one half double crochet in the third, and one half double crochet in the fourth. And then we're gonna put one single crochet in the last four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. For row nine, we're gonna do one half double crochet in the first stitch. And then we're gonna do two half double crochets in the next two stitches. So two half double crochets in this first stitch. And then two half double crochets in the second stitch. And now we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And now we have four stitches remaining. They're each just going to get one single crochet. So that leaves you with 10 stitches around. So go ahead and slip stitch into your next stitch and cut yourself a long yarn tail for attaching. And we're gonna go ahead and stuff the trunk. Okay, so your trunk is stuffed, so you can go ahead and set that aside, and we'll move on to the ears. 
To start the ear, you're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. For row two, you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. For row two, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the next, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one in the first and two in the second. One in the first and two in the second, one in the first, and two in the second, one in the first, and two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first and two in the last stitch. So that's the end of row three and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is going to be one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one in the first, one in the second, and two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, and two in this last stitch. And that's the end of row four, and you now have 24 stitches around. Okay, for row five, we're going to start out doing one single crochet in the first three stitches. So one, two, and three. Now in this fourth stitch, we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. Now in the next 10 stitches, we're going to put one single crochet in each of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In this next stitch, we're going to put three single crochets. So one, 
two, and three. Now in the next three stitches, we're gonna put one single crochet. So one, two, and three. So that leaves us with six stitches left. You're just going to slip stitch into each of these. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So go ahead and cut yourself a long yarn tail for attaching and pull through. Make sure your center hole is closed and just weave in the starting yarn tail. And now your first ear is done, so go ahead and set this aside and make your second ear. To start the ear, you're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four. Five and six. For row two, you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row two, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the next, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one in the first and two in the second. One in the first and two in the second. One in the first and two in the second, one in the first, and two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, and two in the last stitch. So that's the end of row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is going to be one single crochet in the first two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one in the first, one in the second, and two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, 
one in the second, two in the third, one in the first, one in the second, and two in this last stitch. And that's the end of row four, and you now have 24 stitches around. Okay, for row five, we're going to start out doing one single crochet in the first three stitches. So one, two, and three. Now in this fourth stitch, we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. Now in the next 10 stitches, we're going to put one single crochet in each of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. In this next stitch, we're going to put three single crochets. So one, two, and three. Now in the next three stitches, we're going to put one single crochet. So one, two, and three. So that leaves us with six stitches left you're just going to slip stitch into each of these. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So go ahead and cut yourself a long yarn tail for attaching and pull through. Make sure your center hole is closed and just weave in the starting yarn tail. And now your second ear is done, so go ahead and set this aside and we're going to move on to the tail. To make the tail, you're going to start with a long starting yarn tail. And make a slip knot. And chain five. One, two, three, four. Now in the second chain from the hook, you're going to go in and you're just going to slip stitch and you have three stitches left. You're just going to slip stitch into each of these. And once you've done that, cut a ending yarn tail about the same length as the starting one. And pull that through. And now get your black yarn and cut three equal length strands. And then take your hook into the bottom of your tail. And you're going to pull these strands through. Like that. 
Now one at a time, just kind of pull so you see which strand is one and just double knot these onto the end of the tail. Okay, so after your strands are all on there, you can go ahead and cut them shorter. And then just go in and separate the strands. So now you have a little tail. So go ahead and set this aside and we'll begin assembling. Okay, now we're ready to assemble. So the first thing we're gonna attach is the trunk. And the trunk is gonna go approximately between rows 11 and 14 of the head. I say approximately because you might think it looks better maybe one row up, up one row or down one row. But to count, you just start at the center circle of the head and just go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So about right here. And the yarn tail is going to be up. So just kind of make sure it's even and then pin it down. And then after you get it pinned, just look it over, make sure it's still even, make sure you like how it looks. Okay. And now when you're satisfied, we're going to go ahead and attach it. Okay, so right where you finished off, just go ahead and go into the next stitch and straight into the head. And then you're going to go back into the same hole of the head. And you're going to go into the next stitch of the trunk. And then I like to go backwards just to kind of double it up. So you can see what I mean here is I came out this stitch and then I went back into the head, the one after it. So I came out this stitch last time. So when I go back in the head, I'm going to come out and go through the next stitch like that. But then again, I'm going to go backwards one and go back down. I just feel like it makes it more secure, but you're going to go ahead and just do this all the way around.
Okay, so once you get your trunk attached, just take your yarn tail and go underneath of the bottom of the trunk and just find a stitch to knot off on. And then work this yarn tail down through the bottom. Okay, so now your trunk's attached. So let's go ahead and move on to the ears. The ears will be attached in between rows approximately 6 and 10 of the head. So you're going to attach the ears where you slip stitched the six times. You can kind of tell because it'll have a pointy like top and a pointy bottom where you did three single crochets in each stitch. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, be about right here. Again, I said approximately because if you like a better up one row or down one row, but I'm putting mine in between six and ten. So you just have to mess around with them until you get them exactly where you want them. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the first ear. It's going to go straight into the ear and straight into the head and take it away. And I'm going to come back to the next stitch of the ear and then take it back just like I did with the trunk. And I'm going to do that all the way up. Okay, and then just kind of double check your ear and if you're satisfied with where it's at and how it's attached, you can just go to a stitch behind the ear and knot off on it. Okay, so there's one ear attached. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the second ear. 
and you're just going to make sure that it lines up with the first ear you placed on. So once you're satisfied with where you have your uh, ear pinned, go ahead and start attaching. Just make sure you're attaching where you did the slip stitches. You should see a point on top and a point on bottom. So I'm just going to go straight into the head. And then I'm going to go through the ear here, because this is where I want it to lay. I'll just make sure it stays even with the other one here. Okay. So now I'm just going to go back into the body, or into the head, and away from the ear. Now I'm going to start attaching like I've been doing everything else. Go through the head into the next stitch of the ear. And then take it back one. And then just check it out, make sure it's still even with the other ear and you're satisfied with it. And if you are, go ahead and knot off on a stitch behind the ear. Go back into the head and away and snip it free. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add our eyes. So the eyes are going to go in the space approximately between rows 9 and 10 of the head. So you count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is where 9, this is where 10. So this space right here. So I'm just going to stick an eye in so I don't lose that space. And we're going to space them about 6 spaces apart. So just like the little like holes you can see, the spacings. So 1... Two, three, four, five, six. And you can move them around, like if you think they need to be closer together, farther apart, or even if you just want them in different spots. Or also, like I said, um, if you feel more comfortable stitching in eyes rather than gluing them in, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to play with these. <laughs> but I think I had it right the first time this little guy. Alright, so once you have your eyes in place and you're satisfied with where they are, we're going to go ahead and glue them in. 
what I like to do so I don't lose the spot is I like to stick a pin right in the hole where I'm gonna put the eye and put some glue on the eye I have people ask all the time why I glue the eyes in it's just the way I learned and I also like the freedom of being able to do it after and move them around and stuff I never used the uh, safety backs before okay there's one in and now to do the other one I'm just kind of twisting it get the glue all dispersed and I like to hold them in place for a moment but there's your little elephant cutie with his eyes in so the last thing we need to add is the tail and he is all done. So let's go ahead and add the tail. So the tail is going to go on the body in between rows 10 and 11. But like I've been saying approximately you can put it wherever you'd like. Okay, so for the body, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So this space here is where you'll put it. So you're just going to kind of lay the tail down to see if it's even. And once you've got it where it needs to be lined up, just go ahead and take your yarn needle and pull it through. Okay, so I pulled the one side through and I'm just going to let the yarn tail hang there for a second. Now with this other side, I'm going to bring it over. There's one space here. Here's the second space. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so here's where the first one went in. There's a space here I'm skipping, and then this space, I'm gonna go into it and pop out that space that I skipped. So then pull that through, and then go into the stitch of the tail. pull that and then you're gonna go right back in that middle stitch that we skipped and pull it away from the body now with this first one where we originally just pulled it in go back to that middle stitch go through the stitch of the tail and back through that middle stitch and then bring it back over here where the other yarn tail is so now your tail is really good and secured so now you can go ahead and tie these two yarn tails together and take them in and through the leg and cut them free and 
here's the elephant we made together. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And there are going to be more to come. So keep an eye out for these little cuties. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.